Hey friends and fellow crafters, DM Scotty here. So glad to have you with me. I'm really excited about the project I have today. I've been wanting to do these LED torches for so long, but I kind of had a mental block about how to do it. And I checked out Hankerin over at Drunkards and Dragons, which the channel's great, you should check it out. And uh, he kind of got me past my block. Uh, he did a video on torches, and it was very creative how he did it, and uh, it just it, it helped me to realize how I could do it. So after I saw his video, I got a few supplies and started my own. Now I have to have a different take on it, uh, and I've done it differently, but uh, I really want to thank you over there uh, at Drunk as a Dragons for, for, for giving me this idea um, that I've had in my head for so long that I wanted to do. So you have to buy a few supplies. They're not very expensive. We'll talk about those in the start of the vid. So let's head to the table and make those LED torches. to give a big shout out to Matthew Pepper for helping me bring these videos to you. Thanks again, Matthew. I really appreciate it. So to start, I had to gather some supplies and I got this uh, soldering iron. It's just a cheap soldering iron. I also picked up this pack of uh, tea lights and I got these at Walmart. They sell these around Halloween. They're black tea lights. Uh, they're only about three bucks for the four of them, and I really like them for a few reasons. They're very uh, small in diameter. They're smaller than regular tea lights, and they're also flat on the bottom. They don't have little nubs or anything sticking up. They also have little uh, indentations that you can pop up and pop the battery pack right out. So I just use a little screwdriver and just pop that battery pack and switch right out of there. That's so awesome and easy. So I can save that for another project. Okay, so here's my power for the torch. Now I got these LEDs. These are yellow. Uh, I'm going to put below in the bottom of the screen there where uh, I picked them up. And you can see they have these uh, leads coming down. They're fairly long. And these are going to be perfect for creating our torches, right? So nice. So I got that. And uh, now I'm going to take my uh, battery power. And I need to get the other light off there, right? Because uh, it won't go up uh, tall enough to be a torch. So I'm going to use a little wire snip here and cut that off very close uh, to the light because I want the leads to be as long as possible. Then I'm going to trim a little excess off, uh, trim some stuff on the side and on that little round disc part on the top there, push the wires down and just trim that off. I'm going to make it as flat as possible, right? Uh, to have a little, little of footprint as possible. And this is just a coffee stir. I'm going to use this for the uh, torch itself, for the length of torch. But I need to scuff this up first. I'll need some sandpaper. And that'll make it so the paint sticks easier to it and uh, won't come off as easy. So just scuff it up all the way around. Um, just take you a few minutes. There we go. Got the coffee stirrer. Okay, so here's my light, right? And I have the two leads. And I'm going to have to squish them together. And I don't want them to touch because that'll screw up the circuit. So I'm going to use this uh, plug or this... Uh, it's a shrink tubing, I'm sorry, shrink tubing, and put it on one of the leads, and uh, then I can put it in the uh, drinking straw without a problem. Now, I'm not, you, you're supposed to heat it and shrink it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it on there just to protect the one lead. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the stir straw. It's a little short, or it's a little, the straw's a little too long. I'm going to trim it a little bit. There you go. I need long enough leads to be able to connect, right? So I'll just turn the leads out. And there we go. Nice. Perfect and ready to solder. All right, so here's my base. And uh, I'm going to cut some uh, solder for this. I'm uh, just cut a couple pieces off. And to make it easier, I'm going to bend it a little bit so I can kind of loop it over the two leads, OK? And I left the base on so I can tell if the light's working when I solder it. So I'll put that over the two leads. Just quickly melts with the soldering iron. All right, cool. Got the one side. Now I'll do the other. Bend it and just lean it over that. See, it's already connecting. All right, that's it. That's all there is to it. Super easy. Just turn it on and off with the switch. All right, now I want to cover up the base. This is a, you know, this isn't very... Uh, uh, aesthetic looking base. So I'm going to cover this with the uh, hot glue 
and just fill it in. Be careful when you cover up the switch because uh, you don't want the switch not to work, so don't squirt it inside the switch. Squirt it over the, over the switch. Okay, there we go. Just fill in a little extra. Probably won't be able to get it all the first time, so put some on, squirt it, let it dry a little bit, then fill it in some more, and do that nice detail we got on there, see? Nice. So it really blends in. So it looks like less like a battery pack. Now to even make it look less of a battery pack, I'm going to put some of my construction sand on there with my white glue. Just put it on the base. Put some air. I'm not going to fill in the whole thing, just some areas. And I use my standard construction sand here. Just pour it on there. Sweet. All right. Now here's another one. I'm going to do another style where it's kind of in a uh, stone base. And so I'm going to make the top with this just this thin cardboard. And I'll cut that out. Now that I've cut it out, I'm just going to use a washer to find the center. Just an easy way to find the center. It's not exactly the right size, but it's close enough and it's easy to see. So I'll poke a hole in it and poke it big enough so the light goes through, right? And I want to glue that on there, so I'm going to take it off, use my hot glue gun, put it on the top there, put that down on there, let it dry and secure. Nice. So it'll be like a stone pedestal if this thing is on. Okay, now I need to hide the edges. So I've got a half an inch strip of just cardstock, and I've pre-bent it. I'm just going to wrap it around and mark where I need to cut it. Okay, now I'll just cut that. I need just to get it on there. So I'm going to use my hot glue, ring around this sucker, and just twist it around. Be careful not to burn yourself. Hold it for a few seconds, and you have a ready-made platform. Now I've got a quarter of an inch strip here, and I want to make some details. And I'm just going to randomly choose the length. It's not that important for now. And then I'll put the arrows on there, because I want that the arrow to be, be an arrow detail. So I'll just cut those out. This is just some cardstock I picked up. You can use cereal boxes or anything like that. All right, ready. So now I'm going to hide that crease there where I wrapped around. And I'll just put it on there. And it's too long, but don't worry about that right now. We'll fix that. Then we'll do the opposite side. Looking good. Adds a nice, a much needed detail to this, I think. There's just, it's just kind of plain. So there we go. We'll do the other side. Bam, we got them all on. All right, cool. So nice. Now I need to trim the excess off, so let's use some scissors. Trim that off, and we are good to go. All right, I'm going to use some white glue just to make sure that these uh, details are secure. It'll also reinforce it a little bit. So let's put some white glue on there. All right. Now here we go. Here's our uh, torch. And uh, I'm going to cover it up with some masking tape because I'm going to paint it, spray paint it black, but I don't want to hit the, the bulb, of course. I don't want to ruin the bulb, so I'll go ahead and spray paint that black. So there we go. I have our basic torch here. And I'll cut that tape off. Be careful not to hurt the light or anything. Rip the light off after all that work. Okay, so now I'm going to add some flames on the torch. Just pull down with the hot glue gun right onto the bulb. It won't hurt it. Then I'm going to pull off a little bit uh, on the bulb to make it pointed. Okay, and uh, there we go. Nice, looking great. Now here I'm going to use this needlepoint mesh material. Okay, it's just like this plastic mesh, and I cut uh, two uh, two lines out of it with the nubs at the top. And now I'm going to measure seven in, and uh, cut that out. Okay. So this is going to be a cage for the torch, so for some of the torches. So I'm going to use a pencil to help bend that, and then some needle nose pliers to bend the ends. You won't be able to get it to stay, but it'll help if you pre-bend it when you try to put it on the torch, right? So there we go. All right, cool. Now I've got my torch. I'm going to go around with some hot glue. Take my cage and wrap it around that torch and hold it. I'm going to give it enough time to actually dry. Now I had some that actually stayed. This one kind of popped loose. So I'm going to um, fill that in and then do it again. So It's just the clear glue, so it won't hurt. 
There we go. Now hold that and uh, let it dry. Now uh, make sure that you uh, check out the second part of this vid to learn how to paint these up and then they'll be ready for the table. Hey, I hope you find these tips helpful. If you did, give your old DM Scotty a thumbs up and that'd be a like. Uh, also, uh, check out my forum and Facebook group. A bunch of wonderful people on there. And uh, if you do like these vids, consider tipping. There is a little tip thing on the video. You can click on that and tip directly to your DM Scotty. And if you want to go take it further than that, you can go to uh, Patreon and become a supporter and a member of the family. Uh, I have a uh, monthly magazine called The Crafter's Lair, which you'll have instant access to when you become a supporter. Take care. Have fun gaming. For those of you interested, here are the exact specifications of the LED lights I got for this project. Uh, this card came with it, so there you go. Now you can have all the specifications of the lights. What is this, DM Scotty? What foul sorcery is this? I smite it! I stab at your lights!